A couple of weeks ago, we were uh, in was Snowbird, Utah. Was it really a couple of weeks ago? It was uh, July twentieth, the twenty third, twenty fourth, something time like that. Time flies or when you're time flies when you're sixty. You'll you'll find out here pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, another decade, yeah. But uh, it was no, a while ago, yeah. So we were at the CMSC <laughs> show, uh, and as usual, we saw a lot of cool presentations, yeah. a lot of cool discussions with experts in three D metrology, and of course, a geek fest of epic proportions for those involved in. 3D measurement equipment. And as usual, we shot a couple of mm -hmm. tech corners while we were there so we could bring some of the CMSC to you. Yeah, that's right. So the following tech corner was shot at the Capture 3D booth where Johan Gaut showed of Capture 3D showed us some of the capabilities of the ATOS triple scan structured light scanner. Take a look. We're at the CMSC conference in Snowbird, Utah, uh, and seeing a lot of fantastic equipment, including something that we're going to show you right now from Capture 3D. I'm in the Capture 3D booth, and with me right now is Johan Gout, Director of Operations for Capture 3D. Uh, Johan, what are we looking at here? Uh, we're showing today our ATOS Triple Scan Scanner. It's the winner of the GE Aviation High Accuracy and Throughput Challenge. It's a blue light, structured light scanner. And in this configuration, it has both 8 megapixel and 16 megapixel configurations. And I understand uh, you can also change the, the, the volume that you're measuring with this? That's right, Dirk. One of the key elements of the system is the ability to change the measuring volume from down to as small as a 38 a millimeter measuring field of view up to a 2 meter measuring field of view. Okay. And that's just simply by changing out the lenses, right? Correct. Okay. Now, you, uh, there's a couple things you wanted to show us today. Um, I th think most people are familiar with structured light, but there's a couple things that you do with this particular product that you said were interesting. Yeah, most people know Capture 3D for the ATOS scanner being a high accuracy scanner for data acquisition, point cloud acquisition for inspection, analysis, and reverse engineering. Today we want to show you some more intelligence that's based on the architecture of the sensor, as well as the intelligence software that's going to show what we call in the live module both optical tracking as well as reverse projection. Okay, and we're going to look at what, uh, optical tracking first? Uh, we're going to actually combine both in two different uh, demo scenarios, utilizing a customer's uh, training and uh, demo artifact. Okay, terrific, let's take a look. Okay, so show me what you're doing here with, uh, this is optical tracking, right? Correct, we're going to show both optical tracking as well as reverse projection on two different customer provided demo parts. So the idea here is we're actually going to be using one of the customer's uh, demo and training aids to show the functionality of the uh, optical tracking. So if you can see here on the screen, I'm actually bringing the part into the mated position from the winglet onto the wing, and it's doing the real-time feedback, color feedback, and as I get the wing into position, you can see the updating. And I've got a couple shims here because the process is to put the winglet in the right position on the wing, and then to be able to assemble the two together. So this would be used, uh, and sometimes they use photo photogrammetry, sometimes they use uh, laser trackers. This is another way of doing this, this wing alignment. It's the wing alignment, and the real uh, uh, advantage here is this fact that you don't have to have any type of fixturing. So we're actually doing it with the part uh, against the engineering CAD definition and actually placing it in location. So this is used for... Uh, things like uh, wing alignment. So similar, I, I've seen wing alignment done with uh, photogrammetry and, and laser trackers. This is basically doing kind of the same operation? Uh, that's correct, Dirk. And with the main idea that the customers made investment in the ATOS system, they're using it for, let's say, inspection measurements for quality control or root cause analysis. Now what they can also do is expand and, and get a better return on their investment by also use it for the optical tracking. So besides me showing you with the color map moving the, the part into place, we now have up on the screen some labels for some discrete point measurements where now you can get the XYZ location information for your quality group so you have documented uh, quality data. Okay, so, so kind of the, in, in layman's terms, the same product or the, the same measurement system used all the way through the, the whole process. Correct, and that's a great point, because we actually can be all the way in the concept, through the design, manufacturing, and then now for the build process as well. As I mentioned, Dirk, we have this reverse projection capability. So what you're seeing right now is the programmable projection unit projecting where the fasteners will go, uh, need to go to go ahead and join the winglet to the wing. So the little spiral things that you see are the center locations, and they'll turn into cross hatches when we go ahead and get there, and then we can go ahead and go ahead and use the crosshatch to go ahead and locate the center point for where that fastener is going to be located. 
And once again, similar to what I showed you with the tag for the uh, XYZ dimensions, we have the ability also to record the XYZ location of those. We actually can track the XYZ location, locate it, mark the, the location, and then also capture the XYZ nominals for the quality process. So to aid in the manufacturing process and the assembly process, the customer has also implemented using what we call a adapter. So the customer has basically made a adapter that they can actually place, similarly as I showed you with the touch probe and other things, in its location. Once they have it where they want it, they can then go ahead and glue it down and then they can go ahead and use that as a drill guide. Okay, Johan, I see we've actually swapped in a, a different part here. So what are we going to look at with this one? Correct, Dirk. This is the customer's Future Lodge assembly fixture, and we're actually going to show now how we're going to actually use some fixturing and tooling to go ahead and put the bulkhead in position through the optical tracking, and then also then use the reverse projection to show some curve definition and acquisition. Okay. All right. So with that, Tristan, do you want to go ahead and put the part in place? Yeah. So Tristan has positioned the part using the color map to get it approximately close to the location. Now he's going to turn on the labels for some discrete locations. In this case, it's the bond line deviation. So the bond line deviation is key in this application because it's a composite uh, um, structure that's bonded together. And if you can see here, as we move the part, you can actually see the bond line uh, changing to get that within its correct position as well. Yeah, so a requirement at times also in the manufacturing process is legacy um, configurations need to be upgraded. And at that time, what they have to do is put possibly new features onto the part. So that's where reverse projection is a powerful tool. So um, as we see here, Tristan's going to go ahead and reverse project a curve onto the tool. Now he's actually going to go ahead and document that curve uh, with the numerical values of certain points along the curve. Okay, thanks, Johan. Uh, so what we've seen today then with the ATOS triple scan is optical tracking and reverse projection. Is that correct? That's correct. It's extended capabilities beyond just the ATOS scanning capability. And I, also, I understand also that this, uh, this fixture, this, uh, uh, this piece that we have in front of us right now, um, is, is uh, well, tell us about this. There's something special going on with this. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a customer provided uh, demonstration part for us to use today and also train aid within the organization. And there is a tutorial that we've been okay to distribute. So if anybody's interested in, in getting more information and actually seeing how it's used at this customer, they can go ahead and get a hold of us and we can go ahead and give them that, that tutorial. Okay, terrific. And so the, all they have to do is contact Capture 3D. Uh, what, what's your website? www.capture3d.com. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks, Johan. And thanks to uh, Capture 3D and Johan Gout and the crew at uh, Capture 3D for letting us invade their yeah. booth there for a couple of hours to, uh, to work with them on getting that shot. By the way, a uh, lot more stuff like that at CMSC. So if you are into 3D, particularly large volume 3D measurement, uh, that is the show to see. Uh, next year it's in Reno. It's in Reno again, yep. Next, next July. So uh, next July. So CMSC.org is, is your site for that. CMSC.org. Okay. Great.